Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to this and I thought that I would walk you guys through um, external storage support on the Xbox One because we all know if you have an Xbox One you're gonna need it eventually uh, whether it be now or later down the track so I decided to grab a external hard drive now so I was, before I show you how to do it I'm gonna give you guys some tips now my recommendation would be three terabytes uh, because why one terabyte is not going to be enough because the system itself actually needs to take up 250 gig I think on uh, whatever one you decide to throw in uh, I'd also recommend USB 3.0 if you don't get USB 3.0 you might as well throw it in the bin because it's going to take so fucking long does anyone remember how long it took to uh, do USB storage on the Xbox 360 that's what you're looking at uh, but time is about 10 uh, you also want to try and grab I'm a West I'm a you know Western digital fan but Seagate, I suppose, if you if you don't want a good one. Uh, but seriously, I would recommend three terabytes because that's gonna that is gonna future proof you for a long goddamn time. Um, Western Digital and make sure it's independently powered. Uh, the reason I say that is because from memory, it's been ages since I've bought a hard drive, so they've probably moved on since then. Um, but the big ones require two different USB slots, whereas this is only going to require one. Not only that, but it's going to be quicker if it's individually powered. Um, so let's get into setting it up now. Before we actually get, I'm, I've, do, I've done a jump cut here and I hate people that do jump cuts, but I think this is important to say while I'm untangling all the fucking cords. Fuck wireless technology, by the way. I am a fan of everything wired. I know it leaves a fucking mess everywhere, but I've got a goddamn Apple TV. I just realized this. I've got an Apple Airport Extreme sitting behind the fucking TV with three terabytes of storage on it and you can't use it because there's no fucking, you know, plug in. So that would be sufficient for the Xbox One, but no, you can't fucking do that, can you? So wired is the way to go, people. Fuck wireless, fuck the cloud, it all takes way too long, and God only knows where it's going to. But yeah, so essentially in this room I've got about six terabytes of shit I can't even access because it's all in the cloud and it's all on wireless, whereas this thing, three terabytes, right there. Fuck the cloud, man. So we're back. I'm currently waiting for the, the Xbox One to boot up. We all know my problems with that. Um, but yeah, like I said, 500 gigabyte is nowhere near enough, which they know, um, so I wouldn't be surprised if, like, like, next year. Like, I kind of thought at E3 they might announce, you know, the same Xbox bundle, but, you know, like a one, one terabyte or a two terabyte hard drive for the same price with the Kinect, but without the Kinect. I thought they would do something like that, but they haven't. Still booting up. Um, but yeah, so, again, just to run through it, I'd recommend three terabytes. Two terabytes would be enough, but this particular one was on sale. Uh, definitely independently powered because I don't know how many USB ports are on the back of the Xbox but you don't want to be running more than one. Um, you can also plug it into the side if you want but it has USB ports at the back so why not. Um, USB 3 definitely, if you don't get USB 3 you're fucked. Um, but one terabyte's not going to be enough. Um, and not only that but I would recommend having this like this dedicated so I wouldn't put music and songs and movies and stuff on there I would just dedicate it purely to the the console. Um, Still fucking booting up. We're getting there though. Uh, apparently, this is really easy to do, by the way. Yep. <sighs> Still powering up. I'm gonna turn you around anyway. Uh, ready? Here we go. Don't get motion sickness. Oh, what are you doing, Xbox? That's Batman, by the way. Say hi, Batman. Hello. I'm Batman. Now fuck the goddamn. All right, okay. So when you plug it in, it should come up automatically. Uh, I'm gonna have to go and replug it in. God damn it! Come on, man. Xbox, go to settings. Why do I even bother? Why do I even bother fucking trying? Ah, oh, sign me in then. stupid thing. Why to kind of just auto sign in? I mean, there's so many things that just piss me off about this fucking console. And I know this wasn't supposed to be a less shit on the Xbox video, but god damn it! Xbox, go to settings. You're fucked, cunt. Fair dinkum. So now how do you get to the settings now? Oh, my game's naps. I'm assuming it might be in the settings. See, like, I've already used 79% and it's been out for like six months. Apps, settings, it should be a lot easier than this when you try it at home. I don't know where to go. I'm going to, I'm going to get up and I'm going to have to fucking unplug it. God damn it, man. 
Okay, oh, there was a storage option, hang on. Let's see if I can do it through this way, manage storage options. There we go, we've got external terabyte 2.7. Now, when you plug it in, I would recommend plugging it in um, after you turn the Xbox One on, because it pops up instantly, you don't have to go through this, but if we'll just call it external for the time being, I'm not going to... Now, here's where it gets to a little bit tricky. If you want to automatically put your data on your new hard drive, then go to install new things here. Uh, if not, keep current location, and obviously you can change that later. Um, but for the time being, we're just going to install everything on uh, this one. Format storage device. This shouldn't take long. So look at that. So that's done now, so that's really quick. Uh, so we've got 2.7 terabytes on there. Uh, indicating the chunk that it takes up is about, what, 300, 300 gig. Uh, so, yeah, it's about right. Uh, so thank you for watching and if you're interested in that then obviously go and grab one. My recommendations are great because I'm a genius. Until next time, rate, comment and subscribe. Au revoir.